Exciting news. Updates regarding S-33 have been pouring in and recent analyses reveal promising developments after a wave of concerns. So what's the latest? Shifting gears to NASA, Bill Nelson has officially announced the end of his tenure, marking the dawn of a new chapter for the agency. Meanwhile, Rocket Lab has landed a groundbreaking billion-dollar contract with the military, a major milestone for the company. Let's dive into all this and more on today's episode of Great SpaceX. Flight 7 left a lasting impression with fiery debris streaking across the sky. However, the conclusion of S-33 didn't meet the high expectations of SpaceX fans. Several issues arose, sparking discussions about the spacecraft's performance and necessary improvements. One notable concern occurred during ascent, when a layer of the spacecraft appeared to loosen, raising questions about potential damage. A dark layer underneath suggested a possible hole, adding to the concerns about the spacecraft's integrity and the risks involved. However, a closer examination of the incident, supported by recent analyses, revealed that these initial observations were misleading. The waving layer was not indicative of a structural flaw, but rather a feature of the ship's design. Pre-launch images of the spacecraft show this area covered by black panels. Beneath one of these panels lies a small opening, likely intended for the future installation of the chopstick catch system. During the flight, this opening was temporarily sealed, possibly to protect sensitive components during re-entry. Upon further scrutiny, the irregular texture and shape of the area confirmed that the waving layer was a steel arrow cover panel. This panel was likely installed as a protective measure to shield critical areas, such as the chopstick catch opening from extreme aerodynamic forces. The confusion arose because the panel's color closely matched its surroundings, making it difficult to distinguish during flight. Unlike rigid stainless steel plates, such panels are designed to be flexible, which explains their visible movement under stress. This revelation is reassuring as it underscores the structural integrity of the spacecraft even in its recently introduced V2 configuration. While the waving panel was ultimately harmless, the mission's failure was traced to a far more significant issue, an oxygen leak within the engine system. Addressing this problem will be a top priority for SpaceX as it prepares for future flights. Fuel leaks are notoriously complex challenges, involving intricate systems and numerous variables. Successfully resolving this issue will be critical to ensuring the reliability of subsequent missions. Additionally, SpaceX must address other concerns, such as the fire observed on the aft flaps. These flaps play a crucial role in navigation and landing, and their reliability must be ensured under the extreme conditions of re-entry. Future flights will also need to demonstrate a range of vital capabilities, including payload deployment, in-space engine relighting, and the performance of the upgraded flaps and heat shields. These systems must be capable of withstanding intense heat and pressure during re-entry, while providing precise navigation and deceleration for a safe landing. While the aero cover panel did not contribute to the failure of Flight 7, its behavior highlights the importance of continuous refinement. SpaceX will likely take steps to reinforce this component and other parts of the ship to ensure maximum reliability, particularly as more critical systems are integrated in future versions. Encouragingly, progress is already visible. S-34, the ship designated for Flight 8, has been moved to Mega Bay 2 following a successful cryogenic test. This suggests that upgrades and improvements are already being implemented. As S-34 undergoes further testing, including static fires at Massey and integration at the launch site, we can expect to see these refinements in action. SpaceX continues its meticulous investigation into the mishap from Flight 7 alongside ongoing debris recovery efforts. While this process may take time, the team's determination to overcome challenges and enhance the spacecraft remains steadfast. Although no official launch date has been announced beyond Elon Musk's vague next-month comment, preparations for Flight 8 are clearly underway. As we anticipate the next chapter in this groundbreaking journey, it's vital to acknowledge the exceptional dedication and innovation of the SpaceX team. Their relentless drive to push the boundaries of possibility advances space exploration with every mission. The lessons learned from Flight 7 will undoubtedly shape the design and performance of future flights, paving the way for even greater accomplishments. Let's continue to support SpaceX as they refine their technologies and take bold strides toward the future. Share your excitement by commenting Flight 8 below. Also be sure to like the video and subscribe to stay updated on SpaceX's incredible progress. Together, we'll witness history in the making, as SpaceX takes us closer to the stars with each daring leap forward. Speaking of historical significances, on January 20th, Bill Nelson officially concluded his tenure as NASA Administrator, marking the end of a significant chapter for the agency. 
Alongside him, Pam Melroy stepped down as deputy administrator, signaling a shift in the leadership as the U.S. transitions to a new administration. Janet Petro, former director of the Kennedy Space Center, will serve as interim chief until the new official administrator is appointed. This leadership change ushers in a new era for NASA, one filled with both challenges and opportunities. Nelson's time as NASA administrator spanned a period of dynamic change and progress for the agency. In his final days, he reflected on his leadership and the agency's achievements. On the 18th, he and Melroy released a video summarizing their contributions and laying out the foundational plans for NASA's future. Nelson expressed his gratitude to the NASA workforce, stating, Here at NASA, humanity's capacity to discover and America's capacity to lead shines bright. Thank you to the NASA family who embodies the can-do spirit that makes our country exceptional. It has been the honor of my life to stand and serve with you. This message encapsulated his dedication to fostering a culture of discovery and innovation. On January 20th, Nelson marked the end of his 53-year public service career with a message on social media. November 7th, 1972 to January 20th of 2025. As I leave public office today after 53 years, thank you for the great privilege of a lifetime of serving the people of our country. I am humbled and grateful, Bill Nelson. The next day, he posted a two-page letter addressed to NASA's next administrator, offering personal reflections, professional insights, and his hopes for the agency's future. In the letter, Nelson wrote, We are merely temporary stewards of this extraordinary space agency. Humanity's dream in the stars is bigger than any of us, bigger than any one person, any one nation, and any one generation. He also expressed his support for his successor, stating, As a former administrator, as a proud American, I am rooting for you. Your success is NASA's success, and NASA's success is the nation's success. I am at your service to help in any way that I can. Nelson's career in public service began in 1972, including roles in the U.S. House of Representatives and the Senate. His connection to aerospace grew personal as he flew aboard the Space Shuttle Columbia during the STS-61C mission in 1986. His appointment to NASA's Advisory Council in 2019 and his nomination as NASA Administrator by President Joe Biden in 2021 showcased his enduring commitment to the agency's mission. During his leadership, NASA reached significant milestones. The Artemis I mission heralded a new era in lunar exploration, and through partnerships with SpaceX, the U.S. regained autonomous astronaut transport to the International Space Station with the Crew Dragon program. NASA also advanced plans for lunar and Martian exploration, reinforcing NASA's leadership in space. However, his tenure faced challenges, including delays and cost overruns in the space launch system and Orion programs, as well as issues with Boeing's Starliner spacecraft. Despite these setbacks, Nelson's strategic planning and collaboration laid a solid foundation for future missions. As Nelson steps down, speculation suggests Jared Isaacman as a potential successor. Isaacman's entrepreneurial background, aerospace expertise, and innovative vision could infuse NASA with fresh energy, fostering a more dynamic agency. With global competition in lunar exploration intensifying, the new administrator will play a crucial role in shaping NASA's future during this pivotal era. Meanwhile, in the realm of private aerospace, Rocket Lab continues to make strides with its recent achievement, a billion-dollar contract from the U.S. military. On the 7th of January, Rocket Lab announced its selection as part of a team led by Kratos Defense and Security Solutions to support the Multi-Service Advanced Capability Hypersonic Testbed, or MOC-TB, 2.0 program. This initiative is designed to enhance the Department of Defense's ability to conduct hypersonic test flights, a critical component of modern defense strategies. Rocket Lab will play a key role in the Mach TB 2.0 program using its hypersonic accelerator suborbital test Electron, Electron Vehicle, otherwise known as HASTE, a specialized version of the company's Electron rocket. First launched on November 24th of 2024, HASTE successfully demonstrated its capability to support hypersonic missions. The Mach-TB 2.0 contract, valued at $1.45 billion, will continue the Pentagon's hypersonic advancement efforts, with 25 test flights planned under the program. Brian Rogers, Rocket Lab's Vice President of Global Launch Services, emphasized the company's excitement about contributing to this critical endeavor, stating, we're thrilled to be part of the Kratos-led team for the next iteration of the Mach-TB program 
and ready to serve the U.S. Department of Defense with even more high-cadence hypersonic technology with our HAST launch vehicle. This statement reflects Rocket Lab's commitment to innovation and its growing influence in the aerospace industry. The Mach-TB 2.0 program highlights Rocket Lab's expertise and the trust it has earned from government and industry partners. By delivering reliable and efficient solutions for hypersonic testing, Rocket Lab has firmly established itself as a leader in this specialized sector. This achievement not only bolsters the company's standing within the aerospace community, but also reinforces its critical role in advancing cutting-edge defense technologies. Rocket Lab's accomplishments exemplify the broader trend of private aerospace companies driving technological innovation and complementing government-led initiatives. With a proven track record and a commitment to pushing the boundaries of possibility, Rocket Lab has become a prominent player in the global space industry. As the sector evolves, the partnership between government agencies and private companies is paving the way for a thrilling future in space exploration. Filled with bold ambitions and groundbreaking discoveries that will shape the world for generations to come. Together, we're pushing the limits of possibility and reaching new heights. No dream is too far beyond our grasp. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Thank you for being part of this incredible journey. Until next time, keep looking up and never stop reaching for the stars.